and there is no opposition or contradiction in that. There's nothing to oppose it. It's clear. It's halal. The second issue is al haramu al bayinu wa hadha yulamu ala in ala insan ala fi'lihi. He said the second one is the haram that is clear. In that aspect, the person will be blamed for doing it. The person will be blamed for doing it. He said, wa mithaluhu, the example of it is, kasharbi al khamar, a person drinking, intoxicant. Wa aklu al mayit, wa al khinzir, wa ma ashbah dhalika, or eating. From yani, eating swine, meaning eating pork, uh-huh. or eating from uh-huh. the found dead animals. This is something that is haram. The person doing it will be blamed. You will not blame a brother. You find him right at the store buying some lamb chop. You ain't going to blame him, would you? Yeah. But if you see him buying some pork chop, you t- what you going to tell him? Okay, what you doing? You made a mistake? Because here, eating that which is haram, yulamu ala al-insan ala fi'lihi. The person that is doing it can be blamed. So he mentioned mithalu, yani kasharbi al-khamar, like the person yani drinking intoxicant or consuming intoxicant. Or eating the found dead animal or the khinzir or eating that which is the, the pig or the swine. وَمَا أَشْبَعَ ذَلِكَ and the likes of that. He say, فَهَذَا حُكُمُهُ ظَاهِرٌ وَمَعْرُوفٌ He say, that ruling is known. It is apparent and it is known. The ruling is that it is haram. وَهُنَاكَ أُمُورٌ مُشْتَبِهَةٌ مُشْتَبِهَةٌ and mutashabihatun, both of them came in this narration. He said the third one is matters that have yani, ambiguity on them. It is mixed, it is not clear. Wahada mahalu al khilaf, and this is exactly where that there is a difference of opinion by the nas between the people. Fayajidu nas. يَخْتَلِفُونَ فِيهَا فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يُحَرِّمْ He said you will find the people having a difference of opinion in that regard. You have those who declare it haram وَمَنْ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يُحَلِّلْ And those who declare it to be halal. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَتَوَقَّفْ And you have those who they take that refraining position. They step back. They don't say halal or haram, but rather they will step back. وَمَنْ هُمْ مَنْ يُفَصِّلْ And you have those who go to the detail. You got people that just, well, it's halal, without no nothing. You got those who say, well, it's haram, without no nothing. You have those who they stop. And you have those who, barakallahu feekum, they do what is, you need to detail the issue first. So he mentioned from, for instance, from those issues, now pay attention to in, in the example he's giving. He say, مثال المتشابه أو مثال المشتبه From the example of that which has a gray area, it has ambiguity, it's not clear. He say, شرب الدخان Smoking كان من المشتبه It used to be كان كان it used to be, this is what he said, it used to be from those matters that was what? That has ambiguity on them. It used to be, not anymore, because it's coming. He said, awwalu dhuhurihi, very first time that smoking was known. It was an issue that has what? A khilaf. It was a issue that have, yani, it was mushtabiha. It has yeah, need some type of ambiguity on them. He say, Lakin, he say, to bayin al an ba'da taqdimu tib. He say, right now, today, it is clear. 
after the progress of medicine. We say after بعد تقديم الطب after the progress of tib وبعد أن درس الناس حال هذا الداخن. He say and likewise after the, the people have studied the situation of the person smoking, he say and in regard be أنه حرام قطعيا that it is haram and yani completely haram. It is not like, you know, borderline or not. It is qat'iyan haram. After they study, after the advancement of medicine, and after that the people study the situation of a person smoking, now it is clear it is something that is haram. He say, وَلَا إِشْكَالَ عِنْدَنَا فِي ذَلِكَ And there is no ishka, there is no problem in the fact that شَرْبُ dukhan meaning smoking is haram. Right, you say it also shurb al-dukhan, even though shurb is drinking, right? But you say also shurb al-dukhan, meaning drinking smoke. <laughs> That's what it literally is. How you say it? That's what the, what you say. That's what you just say. You say you say drinking. Say it. Cigarette na cigarette mini. Mini. Yeah. Cigarette mini is drinking. Mini dan mini dan. Maybe they, you know, perhaps they get it from, from mm, the Arabic. Arabic. Like, is it a diet or drinking? Uh, shurb, shurb is drinking. And dukhan, already shurb. That's shurba. Shurba. That means something that you drink it. It's a different kind of drinking, like a tea is shurba. Or oh, sip. Yes. yes. Mm. Right? Yes. So shurb is drinking. Ad dukhan is smoke. Right? Like surah, ad dukhan. So here, he say, like the issue of smoking, right? Like the issue of drinking some smoke, right? Drink, uh, uh, the issue of, 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 of smoking. He said that there is no issue with us. But uh, he is giving us the example that at first it was a matter that has some type of, yani, it has a ambiguity on it. It was not clear. But after that, the... Uh, advancement of the medicine and after بعد أن درس الناس حال هذا الداخن after that it was يعني look into the situation of the داخن meaning the person that is using uh, the cigarettes طيب the cigarettes or the person doing it he say it was قطعا بأنه حرام it was clearly يعني it was decisively يعني declared to be حرام because even on the on the, on the pack on the pack Right? And now, subhanallah, walillah alhamdu walmin. Now, in some countries, the government will make you. It, at first, it was words that you would just write. Let's say, this tobacco is proven to be detrimental for your health. Akhi, not, barakallah fiq, my grandfather might not know how to read. If he see that, what is going to benefit him? Right? Yes. But now this is what they make them do. They ha you have to have a picture of a dying person on the back of it with a cigarette. Showing that this is what is killing him. Mm. So when the person now see it, he can't read his seat, <coughs> he will know that this is this is my end right here. Mm. I'm gonna be just like him when I will die. Why? Because of he's doing the same thing I'm doing. So that will you know, karhan karhan when they have it, they will abandon smoking, yani unwillingly, because it's not willingly no more, but unwillingly they will have to abandon the smoking. So the Shahafidah Allah Tabaraka wa Taala He say, "Wala ishkala andana fi dalik," and there is no doubt, there is no problem with us. In regard to cigarette being haram, meaning he is declaring it to be haram. He say, "Wa hadha fadakhin inda awal zuhurihi kana min al umur al mushtabiha, wa lam yakun min al umur al bayina." He say the smoking. It at first when it first came out, it was from those matters, meaning cigarettes. When it first came out, it was from those matters that was, yani, had gray area that was. 
يعني they have some doubtful matters. He say it was not clear then. He say ثم تحقق تحريمه والمنع منه. And now it is actual. It is in reality that it is haram and it is to be prevented. It is to be yani avoided, meaning to be prevented from people using it. This was the first faida. Bi'idhnillahi tabaraka wa ta'ala. The second one we'll read it next week, insha'Allah ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. If there was any mistake that we have then may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and you will rectify us. From this fawail of Shia I mean it is it is some points that are that are very alhamdulillah very I mean mind blowing if you can say that. I mean mind blowing things Allahu akbar. That they could look at the hadith and extract these things it is it is it is alhamdulillah. So inshallah ta'ala next week we'll be reading the second the second benefit of this hadith. So you so the first one today was that the matters are divided into three. Halal al-bayyin, haram al-bayyin, wa mushtabihat. Rahmatullah. And the matters that are, dif- that are divided into three. The halal that is clear, the haram that is clear, and the matters that have ambiguity in them. And he gave example and gave the ruling on it. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. As the fawa'ad is this explanation, and you can download it in, uh, on PDF, inshallah.